over this room, clap those hands and give God praise. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise all over this room. Somebody on your mouth and let God do the truth of God.
Oh, since we're here, we're going to give you name all the glory. We're going to give you all the honor. We're going to give you all the praise. We're going to lift you up. We're going to exalt your name. Oh, Father, just come in the midst of this room. Walk up and down the aisles of these pews. Stop it in a few minutes to the needs of your people. One standing in need of one thing and one standing in need of another. But there's nothing too hard for you. Have your way in this service. Get the man of God down in the storehouse of your wisdom. Give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that he will do our word. That will energize us. A word that will make a round and see what the end will be. For that we give you glory and we give you honor and we give your name the praise. We exalt you because you are everything. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I want to say thank you. Lord, I want to say thank you. Lord, I want to say thank you. Deacon Bar to come and give us our prayer. Amen. Amen. And then we're going to move on. We're going to have a chant and then we're going to come back after that. Amen. Right. In that order, Amen. our scripture, our prayer, and the chant. Oh, yes. Our scripture this evening is coming from The book of Psalms. Psalm 91. Amen. Amen. When you have it, say amen. 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 And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Yes. Glory to God. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares 
of the fathers and from the northern and pestilence. He shall, uh, under his wing shall thy trust. He, his truth mm -hmm. shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah, yeah. Thou shalt not be afraid of for the terror by night, mm -hmm. nor the arrow that flies by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in noon and darkness, nor for the destruction that waiteth at noonday. Mm -hmm. A thousand shall fall at thy side, mm -hmm. and ten thousand at thy right hand. Mm -hmm. But it shall not come nigh not thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my, my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Mm -hmm. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Lord to God. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, thou young lion, and the dragon shall thou trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Glory to God. Therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on her, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Yes. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I read Psalm 91. Prayer of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Let every heart pray. Yes. Glory yes. to God. We get pretty good for Jesus. Jesus. The Son of the Living God. Yes. God, as I kneel at this sacred altar, I say thank you. Thank you. God, there is a petition yes. in Brian's land right now. God, that your Holy Spirit come and dwell among us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, we are binding the hindering spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. There is a celebration yes. in your house. Yes. God, now. Be a part of it. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Touch right now, God. From heart to heart. From mind to mind. Yeah. Oh, God, there is a word. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. God, there is liberty in your house. Yeah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Learn from mind to mind this evening, God. Yeah. God, right now. Yes. Yes, God. Yes. yes. Let it stop with me. Oh. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I come to give you praise. Yeah. I come. To give you glory. Oh, I yes. come to hear the word. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Every song, every prayer, every word that's said in this house. In the name of Jesus. I'm not a prayer, God. Oh, God. I make it prayer and game for you. In the name of Jesus. Self, get out of the way. This is God's service. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we did not come. Today to look at one another. Yes. We come to give you honor, to give you glory, and to acknowledge God. We accept what you've given us in this house. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify you in Jesus' name. And the redeemer of the Lord said, Amen. 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 Amen.
Tell you feel better or not? I was once blind. But now, somebody help me say now. I'm going to tell you we ain't in New York. But now, now I can see. And it's nothing but by the grace of God. Amen. Come on, let's give her a hand. Let's get that place. I'm going to give you that crown. Amen. 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 Deacon Barr is going to come and he's going to give up the purpose of the service. And no, the welcome. Oh, the welcome. Huh. I'm sorry. Deacon Wayne Barr is going to give us a welcome. Amen. And then Sister, the Reverend Latasha Howard is going to come with the purpose of the service. And then we're going to have the commissioning prayer by Pastor Sheila Drivers. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor just gave the welcome. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, yeah, the will. So what you up here for? I'm going to sit like that. Amen. Amen. The only thing I want to say, praise God, for those of you that need change before offering, you want to tell them that Oh, then that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Huh? Woo! Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor, that's coming to you. Amen. Amen. I'm not It's on you. It's on you. <laughs> To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. Right. I believe to see a welcome one today. I do give honor to God for my being here. To my pastor, Pastor Neil, to Pastor Harris, Pastor Carr, Pastor Dabber, Reverend Powell, Reverend Skinner, all preachers, all preachers, pastors, deacons, mothers, faith, and friends, and everybody. Right. Everybody. Who are you today? A commission is an instruction, duty, or command given to a personal group of people to carry out or to be officially charged with a certain function. Yeah. The purpose of this service is to commemorate the fact that St. Martha has a pastor. Amen. Who has a man who God has given a vision Amen. for the church. All right. This is an opportunity for all of us to come together and join in prayer. Thanksgiving, encouragement, and celebration with the pastor and the church concerning the vision that God has set forth. We have a pastor who over 15 years ago as a preacher accepted the great commission to preach, teach the word of God and make disciples of all nations. And then he became installed about a month ago, and he is a pastor. And now as a pastor, he has added to that commission another commission, which is to carry the vision and to lead St. Monica Church by what God has given to him. And St. Monica as a church has accepted the commission to go with the vision and follow the pastor as he follows God. Our pastor has a scripture that he encourages St. Monica with almost every Sunday, and that is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ever heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love. Amen. 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 I don't mind nobody helping me because in November they said I'll be dead. Thank you, Lord. But look at God. Look at God. Then they turn around and say, if I live, I'll be a man. I don't know how I look to you, but I know one thing. I ain't no vegetable. I don't need no rock to cry out for me. I give God the glory. Yeah, for the wonderful thing that he has done. I came to pray. Amen. To offer the commission prayer. Amen. But I, I, I thank God for this new pastor. Y'all don't mind me taking my time for this new pastor and for our sister church, St. Monica. Amen. Amen. And being able to work together with the different pastors to the pulpit in their proper place. 
I don't know everybody by name, but I tell you what, I can pick up a spirit. Come on now. Do you hear what I said? But I, I came and thank God for Deacon Bob offering me, asking me to offer this prayer. And most of all, I thank God because we are knitted together. We've said that for years. Been 25 years we've been knitted together. Amen. And we're still going to stay together. God is up to something, and I thank God. We want to do this commission prayer. She said commission was an instruction, a duty, and a command. Yeah. And we know that pastors has it, have it all. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we need prayer. Yes. So we're going to pray for this man of God. Amen. And Father, in the name of Jesus. Here it is again, and one more time, that we come before you. Thanking and praising you for this day that you made that we might rejoice and be glad in it. And we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for the invitation you gave us to come boldly before the throne of grace that we might find mercy and grace to live. And we want to say thank you for the word. We want to say thank you because the Lord of Lord and your King of Kings is yes. high. You look low, you see all, and you know all, God. You, we want to thank you, oh God, because only you saw this day, even before we were born. You saw this day. And we say, thank you. You saw this hour. You saw who's going to be here. You saw what each and every one was going to do. And we just want to say thank you. And Father, we want to say thank you, oh God, because you said I'd give you pastors out of my own heart. And I ask you right now, Lord Jesus, oh God, as you search the reign of this man's heart, oh God, if you would see anything that's not like you, I ask you to move it, God. Oh God. God is creating him and in all of us. Oh God, a clean heart. And God, we want to say thank you. Because only you can do these things. Only you, Lord Jesus, can call us in a position that we don't even know what to do. And give us instructions and order our steps and direct our path. Lead us in the right way. And I want to say thank you for a fresh anointing. run this race. Oh God, and run it well. Hey, y'all, That he might take this church to the next level. In your name, Jesus. Not because of who he is, but because of who you are. I thank you for leading him and guiding. Showing him the way. And Lord, I thank you that when his heart is overwhelmed, yes. then you will lead him to the rock that higher than he is. Yes. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you God. Oh God, for a humble spirit. Yes. I thank you. Yes. Oh God, do it for your glory. And then Lord, take your people, your sheep of St. Monica, yes. and speak to them, Lord. Yes. Lead them the way that they should go. Oh God, with a humble spirit, a humble heart. I bind every contrary spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. Uh, say that you are lying. The blood of Jesus is against you. You have no authority. You have you have no place in this move of God. I thank you. And I praise you, God, that they'll forget the things that are behind. And they'll run. And they'll walk. And they'll crawl, whatever they got to do to get to the next level. I thank you for it now. In the name of Jesus, I speak over them. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. I speak over them that they'll move with this leader. As this leader moves, they'll move with him. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. I break old tradition. In the name of Jesus. Always. I command you to be broken right now in the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, because there has been a shifting. Hallelujah. Now God, take this church in your hand and shift it. Yes, God. 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 Yes, God.
handle that breastplate of helmet of salvation. Come on. Come on. Shot, him, shot him in the breast. He couldn't kill him. Throw him on that. You better come on. Now. Shot him down in the feet. I'm gonna get him. Shoot him in his feet. Shot him in his feet and couldn't kill him. Say, so I said, I gotta kill this man. I gotta kill this man. I know what I'll do. He walked behind the man, shot him in the wallet, and killed him dead. I'm about to shoot you in the wallet, but I hope I don't kill you dead. It's time to give. What a privilege it is to worship the Lord in giving. Amen. Let's clap our hands. We're going to worship the Lord in giving. Amen. What a privilege it is to give back to God just a portion of that that He has given unto us. Our finance years are coming. We're going to receive our evening offering. Amen. 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 This afternoon, praise God, for those that did not make the original service, praise God. Today's an opportunity for you to also contribute to our basket. Amen. Amen. So that would be this basket, and then we got the public offering. Right. Now, please make, if you have checks, make them out to John Neal. Because if you make them out to the same Monica, he won't get them. Make it right, Pastor. Make it plain instructions. Amen. So praise God. Now tell us again to cash out.
Come on and put your hands together for the Lord. There's nobody like him. I didn't say put your hands together for me, but I said come on and bless the Lord in this place. How many of you know there's nobody like the Lord? Nobody can heal your body. Nobody can touch you like the Lord can. I wish I had some help here today. Hallelujah. You bear with me for a moment and we'll soon get you out of here. I dare not tell you that I'm all that in a bag of chips. But I believe that through Christ, I'm everything. I want you to help celebrate this God with me, the one that's able to lift up a bow down here, able to bring joy and their sorrow, able to pick you up when you're down. I wish I had a friend church here. Bless your heart. Trying to get the atmosphere right, ushers, you may retire, don't go home. But you may retire. Thank you so much, choir. To the Jones Chapel Baptist Church and Exodus Baptist Church, will you stand real quick? Let St. Monica know that you came all the way from Oak City and Greenfield to show your support. We appreciate you. This is not all of us, it's just a handful of us. You know how it is. Uh, we as black folks, so I don't know how it is to be white, but we as black people, the more that God has blessed us, the more arrogant we have gotten. Back when we didn't have anything and nowhere to put it, we would bless God all day and half of the night. Now, since you're driving a nice car, staying in a brick home, better make the morning service. Dare not mention the afternoon. But I do believe that there's a God who sees it all. And when you slack on God, y'all ain't talking back to me here. How can you dare think God will bless you with the bed? When my body's sick, I can show up to the house of worship and heal, heal my body. Y'all ain't talking to me here. I wish I had a friend, church. I know you say, Reverend Harris, you talk slow, but help me here preach, and I will soon speed up through about the Holy Spirit. Bless your heart. Want to stop and pause and give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ on today for everything that he's doing and going to do in this season. I want to take the time to stop and pause to just celebrate my brother, my friend, my ace boom coon, the Reverend J. R. Neal. You like how I said that, you? Bless your heart. To these great men on the clergy that stand behind me, to the great women that stand before me, who seated before me, we appreciate you on today. Uh, to everybody in their respectable place. Now, if I miss you, Please don't go home and talk trash about me. Bless your heart. Uh, we want to go a little further here. We want to just take this opportunity commissioning service. Uh, when Reverend Neal made mention of it, I said, Lord, what shall we say to these real people? And I told him, I said, well, you can still preach this afternoon if you want. He said, I've already told it a load. I said, I have too. He said, that's all right. Grab another load. So here we are again. To do what thus says the Lord. First Kings, those of you who have your Bible, First Kings, the 18th chapter. I know you're going to say, Pastor, where are you going with this? But you pray with me. Please. I get you out of here. Uh, uh, Reverend Neil, your daddy back there. Last time I came to St. Monica, they gave me 10 minutes to preach. He looked me in my eyes and winked at me. And it seemed like I preached hard and the folk got happy. So I, I'm going to not look over there because I know where he's at now. I'm going to look this way and do what does say of the Lord. But we appreciate him. He has been a good friend as well. Me and uh, Reverend Neil and Daddy, we used to work together. I want to say he put all the work off on me. 
But, but that's all right. That's all right. What a friend's for, right? <laughs> Bless your heart. Uh, First Kings 18, while you're finding it, some people pages may be stuck. Some people iPad might go into freeze mode where you haven't looked in a while, but that's okay. We got time today. I'm going to get with you there. We're going to get with you. You pray with me here. Bless your heart. we get with you in just a moment. What to say about this great man of God? Truly, he is a blessing to St. Monica. St. Monica, you possess a jewel here. And I want you to understand, take care of your man of God. You hear what I said? Take care of him. Because I will tell you, it's the same way the door revolves for him to come in. God will revolve the door again and move him out. So appreciate him. That's the old word, appreciate. They didn't say appreciate, but appreciate the man of God. Why he's here, I thank John Chapel Exodus for sacrificing um, and coming on to be with me. Appreciate you. You don't know my heart is real happy. And I'm grateful for everything that you all have done on today. Not all of us, but you know, that's how it goes now. Folks, since the pandemic, people don't love to go to church. They want to stay home and watch it. And, and they ain't watching it too good because they cooking and carrying on and doing all kinds of things. But I tell anybody, I tell anybody, ain't nothing like the house of the Lord. Nothing like the house of the Lord. I'm talking about what I know while you still flipping. I'm talking about what I know two to three years ago. I suffered a major attack on my body and uh, Reverend Neil and the daddy and them and, and I didn't want to tell them nothing because they, you know, I fussed at them so bad about it. They better go here to the doctor. They better quit messing around and, and sugar diabetes on, took now. over my body. I never knew that my sugar was over 700. And for two months, I walked around and as I walked around, I felt fine. Every now and again, had a slight headache every now and again, but I was fine. The doctor told me when I went in there, I said, listen here, uh, well, first, I better say this, my wife went to church. I was home on the fifth weekend, and, and I went there, and I looked at the TV. I told my baby, I said, turn that TV on. She said, I'm going to turn it on. And she turned it on, and I'm going to tell you something. I looked. Sister Teresa, I couldn't see a thing. I said, what in the world are you going to do on my TV, girl? And she said, I didn't do nothing, Daddy. I said, I know you done something because I could see that TV early. Little did I know when I looked at the microwave, the numbers were blurry on the microwave. I didn't know what was going on. I called my wife. I said, we'll get home. I said, need you get me somewhere. I didn't want to really go. But after they finished fussing, I had no choice but get on. Got there, sugar was 700. Well, better than 700. And I tell you something, they told me, Sir Reverend Harris, you were in the zone of a stroke. You could have been gone. They said that you could have had a heart attack with your sugar being that high for so long. Every morning I got up, I'm telling you, Reverend Howard, every morning I got up, my sugar was 450, and that's not even eating anything. Come on. Then I turn around and stop my windows and dip those old little French toast sticks with the syrup and raise it up a little higher. But thanks be unto God. Let me show you what he does. I can tell you, gain a little weight, that's all right. But when I went to my DMV physical, they didn't take any sugar. Y'all ain't hear me here. Might be a little heavy, but guess what? They didn't detect any sugar. Don't tell me what God won't do if you serve him right. I wish I had some help here. Every time I come into the house of the Lord, the better I begin to see. I spoke what I wanted to see. I said, God, I need you to heal me. And he healed my body. Bless your heart. You looking at a miracle today. Thank you, Jesus. Looking at a miracle, I can't talk for nobody else, but I'm talking for me. What the Lord has done. He's done great things. Don't get me started here. I'm trying. I'm trying. But when I start thinking of the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Everybody's soul cries out in here. Glory be to God. I got to hurry here, Reverend Neil. I, I, I feel good now. I 
feel good. I want to preach a little bit here. I want you to know that God is whatever you need him to be. All you got to do is call on him. I got to hurry. I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave. Look at your neighbor real quick and say, neighbor, help the black man preach. Bless your heart. I know you've been looking. You say he looked good, but can he preach? I can preach. The Lord didn't show me. I can preach. Bless your heart. First King 18 gave you enough time, gave you enough time to find it. If your tab is still messed up, look on with your neighbor so they might help you out. Bless your heart. First King 18, and it reads like this. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab. And I was sent rain upon the earth, and Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. And Ahab called him over that, which was the governor of the house of his house. Now would I fear the Lord greatly, for it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord. That over that took a, a hundred prophets and hid them by Fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And that's where we want to stop at today. And if I can use for a fault today, y'all want to pray with me here? The right one for the job. That's what we're going to talk about today. The right one for the job. You can't see it right now, but I'm going to help you get there. Bless your heart. Father in heaven, we come now as the empty pitcher. Needing to be filled, I recognize, God, that you are the preacher, and I'm just a voice. Speak through these lips of clay that people will see less of me and all of you. Hide me behind the cross, that, God, that you might get the glory on today. God, we ask you that you would lift up every bow down spirit on today. God, fix that that is torn down, God, in the spiritual realm. And, God, we ask you to restore those, God, who are needed to be restored right now. God, some have come for healing. Let your word go out to let them know that they are the one. God, we appreciate you now for everything, and we declare that this word is yours, and God, I am just here merely because you give me grace. Lord, this is our precious, this is our prayer, Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Bless your heart. Reverend Neil, I thought about this thing, but the right one for the job. I, I got to go back a little further here. If you have been reading your Bible, we find that in 1 Kings that uh, Elijah was a man of God. Yes. Man of God who one that wanted to do that was right and of God. Yes. Reverend Neil, I'm going to tell you, you're going to find yourself wanting to do right when others want to do wrong. Y'all going to pray with me here? Elijah took and he wanted to do what God says to do. And how many of you know that when God give us the ability to do what we need to do, but sometimes it's not the fan favor of the people. Y'all going to pray with me here? I'm sure in this time that Elijah uh, now shutting up the heavens with rain for three years, I know that probably had made some folks mad. Y'all know how it is. You know folks get kind of upset when they can't even get what they want when they want it. And y'all won't pray with me here. But God has a way to do things. He got a way to do things. Sometimes you can't do things straight out. You got to go around to make everything work like it needs to work. Help me here, somebody. And that's what God did after allowing the rain to be shut up from heaven. I got to give you the back story. The back story, God took uh, Elijah down by the brook. Anybody remember that story? Took him by the brook, and, and Elijah had to solely trust God. I know some of you were saying that, guess what? God, I trust you. But how many have ever been to the last dime and wonder where your next dime will go to roll in? Do you really trust God like you say you do? I wish I had a friend, church. So, Sister Kira, I want you to know sometimes life can 
get hard sometimes. It'll make you feel like you all by yourself, just like Elijah. Elijah had to hide himself. I didn't read where he had much company because there was once a widowed woman. I'm getting ready to finish this thing there. There was a widowed woman that came down by the brook. I imagine she said, I just need a little taste of water just to finish off my last little meal here. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I want you to know that guess what? Sometimes even when you're going through God, I figure out a way for to help you to bless somebody else. I want you to know that Reverend Carl, in this life in pastoring, sometimes it don't look like it's going to be right in what you're doing. But I want you to know if God told you to do it, do whatever he says to do. Y'all going to pray with me here. I'm going to talk to the women real quick. Some of you were called the greatness to preach the gospel and you're scared because of what man has said. I, I wish I had a friend, church, but I want you to know if God called you to do it, you ought to do what this says the Lord. Neil, I know, I know for a fact that when you came down here to St. Martha, you won't look at to pastor anybody. I told him, I said, you just will to get ready. I told him, you might as well lock it on in because that church is yours. He said, no, but pastor, I don't want to pastor anywhere. I want to be an evangelist. I said, but that's not what the Lord told me. Y'all ain't praying with me here. The Lord told me, said he will be a great pastor. Y'all pray with me here. And when I begin to look at it, that is what God tell you. You can look at it and rest assured that he'll do what he said he would do. He'll say, I ain't got to tell everybody about our conversation. But when God tell you something, it's much better than what man will say. I wish I had a praying church here. Elijah, I got to hurry here. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I feel good in the spirit. But I want you to know Elijah took and stayed by the brook following the instruction by God. Some of us us, we wouldn't even listen to what God said because we go by our sight and not by our faith. But how many of you know that you need faith in order to move mountains? Sight won't work, but you need faith to help push you into your next level. I'm trying to help somebody here. Some of you at St. Monica are only looking at the sight part of it. You see everything with your natural eye, but some things God says, I need you to focus on me. I need you to trust me to know that I'm able to bring you through. If you know that God is able to bring you through on today, you ought to lift up your hands and tell the Lord thank you. I'm trying to quit here. I want you to know even then Elijah had to trust God because a raven was sent down to bring him a little meat and, and so that he might be able to eat. I don't know about you, but if I was in the physical, I would look at the raven would be kind of scared to eat some meat that he brought from anywhere. But how many of you know it's not the presentation of it. It's only because what God has now predestined to happen. I got to hurry here. I want you to know that Elijah took and picked up and found himself. The brook began to dry up. And, and, and when this little lady came there, she got enough water to make a little cake and, and a little meal there that she might be able to feed her and her son. I cannot help St. Monica here. Even though this is a commissioning service, he was commissioned some 13 to 14 years ago. I just came to help and lift up the today to let St. Monica know that you got a good man in this place. Hallelujah. So when he went on and the widowed woman began to fix the little cake of meal and, and how many of you know that when you don't fix cornbread the right way it can come out wrong. Y'all ain't playing with me. But I believe that this woman had just enough to make a little good cornbread cake uh, and, and she said to herself uh, surely we are going to die if we give you this here. But I want you to know that Elijah told her if you give me the first morsel here and then you partake of it. I, I want you to know that you're going to be blessed. St. Monica, sometimes you're going to look at it and you're going to say, my money a little funny. But if God told 
want you to bless the man of God. Maybe sometimes God might tell you, St. Monica, ride to Rocky Mountain and pick up your pastor. Don't look funny or think it's robbery because there's a blessing inside of what God has showed you. Y'all gonna play with me here? The widow woman, she minded her business, but she did what the prophet told her. After a while, by and by, can I hear him preach the thing and get out? After a while, by and by, she took and she blessed the man of God. After a while, y'all didn't read this part because most times, Brother Deacon, we only want to hear about the little pig and the little meal. But following after following what the Lord told her to do, her son died. I'm trying to get you to the point where we at now. Our son began to fall sick, and, and the Bible said that guess what? He did die. That means he was lifeless. He didn't have a soul there. But Elijah took the boy up. He had to get away from mama. Sometimes, and guess what? Your pastor gonna have to get away from some of y'all sometime in order to see what God needs him to do. I want you to know Elijah took the boy, and, and he went on, and he began to pray over the boy and he looked to heaven. I believe that's what the text said. He looked at heaven and he began to tell him, say, God, restore his soul back here. And after a while, the boy took and breathed the breath of life. Y'all will help me here. His mother was overjoyed at this thing. I want you to know St. Monica. I want you to know Exodus. And I want you to know John Chopper. It might look funny to you sometimes. It might not be the way that you want it to be. But I want I want you to know if you do what the Lord says, you don't have to worry on how this will turn out. It'll turn out all right every time. I believe that we went back and then yeah, this particular one, after shutting up the heavens, he had to make sure he was healing real good. I want you to know sometimes you're going to decrease some things, Neil, that the folks may not even like. But if God says, say it, you ought to say what does say it, the Lord. I wish I I hear a friend, church. I'm trying my best to get ready and get out of here. But I want somebody to understand that uh, you're the right one for the job. You've been sitting back saying to yourself, Pastor, I don't know if I can do this church thing. But God says, I need you to do this thing. Because it's because of you. I'm getting ready to bless your whole entire family. Is there anybody in this place that know that God is getting ready? to bless you. He's getting ready to bring you out. I wish I had a friend, church. I know, I know, I know. You probably saying, Pastor Harris, it looks funny what the Lord told me, but do that in which God said. Y'all ain't hear me here. Can I go back and talk about myself for a minute? I imagine what my wife told me. She said, look here, honey, you need to get ready and go to the hospital. I did not know that if I had changed my mind, that I was almost at death door. Y'all ain't praying with me here, but there's something about being obedient. It blesses you every time. I don't know about you, but I thank God for my wife. She don't realize how glad I am, because if I had not listened, what God was calling into the woman of God, I might well have been dead today. I wish somebody would help me pray. Y'all know you are the woman because God has predestined you for great things in this place. I know you're looking at yourself. You're looking and saying, why me? Why not you? You qualified because God's spirit, God help me here. Oh, no! 
got to leave me. I want you to know you the right one for the job. Nobody else will come down to St. Monica and do them like you won't do them. But God said you're right. Bless your heart. Y'all sit on down, you're making me nervous. Please, Pastor, please. Elijah, I'm getting ready to finish. Elijah was told by God, the same God that let Elijah close up the heaven. Uh -huh. Say, go and talk to King Ahab. Show yourself to him. Amen. I imagine that Ahab said, oh man, this guy, the audacity of Elijah showing up before me. Now Ahab wasn't too much of the problem. But it was his wife, Jezebel. How many of you know there's some Jezebels in the church? It's time, but it's right. I ain't scared of nobody in here. Bless your heart. There's some with the Jezebel spirit. Want to run everything. Want to be in control. Don't play my song. I'm leaving. I'm getting my bags. Come on, y'all five. We're going to start us a church. Why? Because they didn't sing my song. Sit in the sanctuary with your mouth twisted all up. The pastor preaching here a little alone now. Put me on the pulpit laying over. And the first thing you said, well, y'all not done. It's time now to understand what God has given you. When Elijah showed himself, he walked in confidence. Trusting and know that God was going to make a way. Yes. I want to tell you, St. Monica, when God sent J.R. and Neil this way, he didn't send them because it was something fun to do. Amen. He sent them because he knew you all needed a Amen. good shepherd here Amen. that would help bring you through. Amen. I want to tell you, sometimes in church, I'm talking to every preacher in here, sometimes we endure the most church hurt Disappointment. Amen. You coming with me today? Oh, I'm busy. What are you doing? I got to wash my salad. <laughs> you going to wash your salad last night. When the word of the Lord comes, I want to be in position. Amen. I don't know, maybe my breakthrough is in that word. Y'all ain't talking to me. Somebody asked me a few weeks ago when I'm sitting down. Said, Rabbi Harris, I said, yes. How in the world are you still sad? May the third, I lost my mother. Turned right back around 30 days later, I lost my brother. Somebody said, how do you have the strength to keep on going? Because I know who commissioned me through this all. And sometimes it may not look like what I want to look like. Don't nobody say, I wish my mother or my brother were gone. Don't nobody say that. Amen. But sometimes in this life, Amen. it's going to get hard. Yeah. Reverend Neil, sometimes you're going to have friends walk away from you. You thought they were your 20 year friend. Yeah, yeah. You'll find out. Yeah. Start pastoring. Uh -huh. Start trying to live a little better. Yeah. You'll find out some things. Yeah. Everybody that come to you and tell you, the Lord told me to tell you. Send a rattle back to the Lord. Yeah. You talk to Bless your heart. Yeah. Everybody always talking about the Lord. Yeah. The Lord. Yeah. 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 See, that's one good thing because I know him for myself. Yeah. 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 So when you come up to bring me some, it's only confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. I know somebody. Yeah. I got to leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. But I want you to know, St. Mark, the trust in God. The one who never makes a mistake. Amen. This here was no accident. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I was here at the installation, Reverend Neal. I'm going to see what you might not have it back. But that'd be all right. I got two of them now, so I, I preach to them as long as I can. I love my brother. I watched some things go down just a few weeks ago, and it hurt my heart. Hurt my heart for him. 
And a lot of you who are at the installation, you know, won't treat it right. And he tell me, I'm all right, Reverend. I'm all right. I said, no, 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 no. You still got feelings. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nowhere in the Bible did I see that it say you can't have a little tear out and cry and feel it. Jesus will because he had feelings. And I saw some things and it hurt me. And I told him, I said, listen, I'll be with you no matter where you go. As long as you do right, I'll be with you. And this fellowship, it ain't over. Come on, St. Paul's going to be coming down to my place then. Amen, amen. And all I got to do is just ruffle my jacket up <laughs> and sit back and hear a word. I want to tell you this. Friends are hard to find with your pastor. Amen. The moment you tell them that you ain't going to sleep with sister this one and that one, you're going to lose that crew. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. As long as you do what the in crowd do, you're going to preach all over the United States. But you know what I love, though, the bar. I ain't even with the in crowd. He let me preach all over this place. All you got to do is trust in them. Surely he'll bring you out. You're the right one for the job. I, I, I want you to know you're the right one for the job. When God told me, now I ain't telling him, but I hear to tell you right here, I told him what the Lord told me. And if God didn't bring you the path, then he would say, my friend is a liar. Amen. But there's something about knowing God for yourself. I keep saying it, but I, I want y'all to understand, Brother Patrick, it is something about knowing him. I ain't got to get to know him. I already know him. Saints, get to know the Lord so that you can already know. I believe Reverend Carr preached this morning. Do you know the man? Amen. And I know the man. Yes, sir. The one that was hung up on the God for him. I'm trying not to preach, but I'm telling you, the same one that was pierced in his side, he took it for me and you. Yes, and the Bible will say that the blood and the water came streaming down. Yes, but he didn't have to do it, but he did it anyway. He was the right one for the job. And I praise my God today that he was here. Gave up his life. Nobody took it. He gave it up. Me and you, they might take ours. But the Lord gave it up. And we appreciate him on today. I'm sitting on down, saints. But come on and bless the Lord while I'm sitting down. Jesus in the pardon of your sin. Yes. You have not declared king of my life. I crown thee now. Perhaps you hear, and after hearing that message, you understand that salvation belongs to you. After understanding that salvation belongs to you, you declare I'm the right one Amen. for this job Amen. to be on the Lord's side. Yes. Doors of the church are open, let us all stand. Would there be a man or woman? A boy or girl who do not know Jesus in the pardon of your sin and desire to come and give your life to Christ. To Christ will you sing. And if you're there and you don't want to walk by yourself, just throw up your hand and somebody will come get you and walk with you. Sing. Oh, 
But I'm glad to say that I'm on my way. And I'm going more and more. He said, that was me. That started out with me. But now, they're going astray. But I'm still holding on to his hand. Thank God I'm still holding on. I want you to take this back to the devil and all of his officials. And I'm going to my seat. Ain't no stopping me now.
thank you, God, how you used them. Mm -hmm. Lord, how you kept them. Mm -hmm. Lord, how you will still keep them. Yes, yes, yes. In the mighty name of God. So right now, God, we pray that you will touch each and every one. In the mighty name yes, of God. Yes. You know all about it, Lord. Yes, you know each and every yes, one of Hallelujah. Name, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord, touch them in a special way today. Yes, yes, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Now only that Lord will touch the family, Lord. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Touch that man, that boy, that woman of God. Yes, yes, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Let her know that the weight of the sin is there. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. Turn from their wicked ways. Yes, Lord. And come boldly to the throne of grace. Jesus. Time, what shall I do to be saved? Yes, Lord. You said you be a just and forgiven God. Yes, Lord. That you will cleanse them all of righteousness. Yes, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, somebody needs to touch me. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to touch. Yes, Lord. Realize, God, that you got all power. Yes, Lord. Heaven and earth. Yes, Lord. Just one touch, Lord. Yes. 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 Lord. Yes. Touch them, Lord. Yes. Just one touch on you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Somebody need healing today, Lord. Yes. Yes. Just one touch, Lord. Yes. Just one touch. You yes. hear the lady that had an issue of blood. You yes. hear the man that laid by the pool of the devil. You hear the lady that was five over 18 years. Yes. Yes. You said you were the same yesterday yes. and then the other spirit had changed. Yes. 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 several other members of the St. Monica Baptist Church. My father used to serve in the same union and association with you all as well. So I am no stranger 
to St. Monica, but we are certainly glad to be in this place on today. Also, uh, I believe it's July the 19th at 7 o'clock that um, St. Monica will be pressing their way over to Oak City um, and so that we might have our revival that is on Wednesday night. Um, we have a three-night revival, so it'll be um, the 18th, 19th, and the 20th. Um, uh, your pastor will be preaching on the 19th, but you're welcome to come all three nights. We ain't going to be mad with you because you come all three nights. Okay. So we want you to know that we're looking forward to having you all with us on that mon monumental occasion. Also, um, that your pastor is coming back in August and he will do the installation service for myself on uh, in August the 20th at 3 p.m. And we believe that we're going to, um, I believe Old Pat Tolis Road, um, the Reverend <clears throat> the Reverend Cardinal Birdie, he was, has been good enough to allow us to utilize his place uh, of worship, and we're grateful for that. So we're looking to do great and marvelous things there. Exodus, we're on the move. We're doing it the Lord's way, and I appreciate each and every one of you from Exodus um, doing thus, saith the Lord. All hearts and minds are clear. We're standing all over the building. If you're not able to stand, we do understand. Bless your heart. We shall about Bishop's prayer, and we shall lift up our hands and give the benediction. Now unto him who is able to present us faultless before his great throne, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, let it rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth, now, and forevermore. And they all said, Amen. 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 Hug somebody and love them real good.